Coming to you live. Actually, let's do this one first. Coming to you live from an undisclosed location somewhere in northern Georgia, in rainy northern Georgia. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another uh, Friday RV Chat Live. Welcome, everybody, and thank you all for being here. Uh, we have Dil Dylan Reynolds, of course, Zachary Lumbly Kelly, Kelly. Um, uh, Michelle K, uh, Car Car Carol Leonard, Rocking Rob, uh, eating a hamburger in honor of Robert since he likes to eat so much of them. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, it says stream quality has been automatically lowered because the internet connection was not fast enough. What do you mean, not fast enough? I'm here coming to you from a, like a landline connection. This should be like super fast. We have our first dislike, believe it or not. Um, by the way, I just wanted to mention the, uh, R, the I was just at the RBDJ's live stream. Her 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 cat uh, uh, just passed away, so um, let's cheer, cheer her up when she comes here. And um, hey, Mister Culture Lifestyle Travel, hello there. Let me try something here real quick because you know I'm always trying new things with this uh, software here. Now we know. Now on to cloud. One of these days I'll master uh, this uh, software here. Uh, <coughs> hello, hello to the 171 of you watching the live stream. I'm, I'm coming to you for real from uh, somewhere in, in Georgia. And uh, and it's raining. It's, it's a rainy day here. Uh, hi from West Virginia, by the way, lovely state. I was just there last week. Very nice. Hello, Robert Powell. Hello. From Akron, Akron, Ohio, Ted Moore. Hello. Hello, G. Teal. From Hialeah. Hialeah, really. Uh, lots of internet stability issues happening across the U.S. with everybody streaming. I guess, and but it's weird. You know, all these days, uh, for the past few weeks, I've been... Um, I've been streaming from, from my mobile connection, so I understand uh, the, the connectivity issues, but uh, I checked. I had like 15 megabits up. It, it should be pretty stable, but who knows? Uh, Kayleigh, uh, Robert, thank you so much. Uh, Jim is coming in. Sonia is still driving. All right. Hey, RV DJ Robert Ray is in progress. All right. I see everybody coming in from the... Uh, What's the software you're using for that? It is called, um, oh, no, I, I chose the wrong one. Uh, but in any case, it is called the Ecamm Live. And I don't know if I can show you the Ecamm Live screen. I don't think I can. But uh, it's this one. Let me show you. And it's, it, the only thing, it's, it's only Macintosh, so it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't work on PC, but um, this is the website. It's a free download. It's a free trial. And I, I think it still works even if you don't, um, it's that. I, th I think it might still work even if you don't uh, have the, if you don't pay, but uh, it just has a, it's not very expensive. And I decided to, I, I thought it was a very good software package. so. Uh, I decided to support the company and give him a, it's like, it's less than $10 a month. It's, it's really not. Uh... All right. Going places from Zimbabwe. Hello, Zimbabwe. Say hello to, to Mr. Mugabe for me. And Don Watterson from Michigan. We love your show. Jennifer and I are watching from Marietta, Georgia. Oh, you're Marietta, Georgia. You're just a stone throw away from where I am. Um, we loved James Floyd Park, and we're going to Cloudland Canyon soon. Cl oh, watch this Sunday's video because this Sunday's video is going to be Cloudland Canyon. Um, yeah, Rockford, Illinois. Hello there. And uh, let me reset the chat here real quick. Hello from your fam in Georgia, Elda Sanchez, which who is just like literally up there, like just upstairs. 
uh, from where I am right now. The whole family is upstairs uh, uh, together. We've been, we've been had some FaceTime time with the, with the part of the family that is in, in Spain, in, in Alicante. And uh, let me lower this camera a little bit, just a tiny little bit for better framing. It's hard sometimes when you are the, the one person running your whole recording studio here. <laughs> All right, let me uh, go back to this camera, although, although the Logitech looks a lot better, I think. It looks brighter. I don't know. You, you guys, like, actually, I like this one. With, 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 maybe when it gets dark, it's going to get dark in about half an hour. We'll do that. Uh, William William from Scotland, Lucky Duck Productions. Hello, sending you well wishes. I'm now on tablet, Statesboro, Statesboro Georgia. We want to buy a sticker. Stickers, uh, just check them out. Uh, um, travelingrobert.com slash merch and thank you M.E. Mary for that hold on oh gosh this is going too fast for that super chat uh, thank you for being mindful of truck drivers uh, yeah I'm, I'm very mindful of truck drivers no IPA today from Christopher also actually today I didn't want to mix we've been drinking wine I mean, actually we, we've been like eating all day <laughs> pretty much so I decided to get some wine instead I have some IPAs there from five different states in the RV, so we're, we might uh, try one of those next week. Oh, there's a mosquito here. Is it a mosquito or is it like one of those stink bugs? I don't know. Could be love bugs. Love, love bug season is happening, I think, in the south. Girl, driver, I mean Woodstock, any meetups planned? Not really, not. I don't think it would be appropriate to have a meetup. At least not until for the rest of the year. So we'll see. <laughs> Hello, Robert, coming over to, to, you know, South Carolina is one of those states that I didn't uh, visit on this trip. I kind of skipped it, but at some point I will go there for sure. Hello, Jeffrey and Texas Family Camping. How are you all doing this on this lovely Friday evening? Well, it's very rainy. I mean, we, we're getting crummy weather here in northern Georgia, but... I'm not complaining. I've had beautiful weather for most of this trip, so I can't complain, really. Uh, hi from Portugal, and uh, by the way, that we're having some. Uh, it's a it's a Campo Viejo Reserva from uh, the Rioja region of Spain. That's what, what I'm drinking right now. Although I bought some great wines, but we, we drank it all already. I, I bought some great wines from Northern Georgia. And later we might open wine. I, I got a, even a wine from Eastern Tennessee that is pretty good. You know, when when I when I travel around the country, I try to get the beers and wines from like from if if I were in Lexington, Kentucky, I would get some nice bourbon. And near Lexington, I went to this uh, bourbon distillery. It's called Jefferson's Ocean, and I know, and I know. Um, my brother-in-law's son here, he has a bottle of that. And uh, it's that Scott, it, it's that uh, bourbon that they put it on a cargo ship and it goes all around the world. And apparently with the, with the, with the sh with rocking of the ship and the salt water, it gives uh, the bourbon a, a very special flavor. Um, glorious life on wheels. Hello, hello. And... Club Subaru Monterrey. Saludos desde Monterrey, Nuevo León, Mexico. Hello, Mexico. You got a haircut. Yes, I did. And let me tell you something. Barber shops are, are pretty much the same, I think, and everywhere in the world. Because in, in Miami, I go to this little Havana barber shop that is like stepping into the, you know, the, it, but, it, but it's the same. It's the same gossip. It's just Cuban stuff. And here I went to this barber shop in Blairsville, Georgia, and it's Kind of the same kind of conversations, but of course in the setting of, of Blairsville, Georgia. And uh, I thought it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. And very, very, very cool guy that the barber and the people that were there, you know, gossiping, which is what you do at, at a barber shop. Very cool. Have you tried Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IP? I don't think I've had that, the, the Hazy Little Thing one, but I have, I've had other Sierra Nevadas for sure. So uh, definitely that was one of my first... Uh, non-standard beers craft beers what part of georgia i mean uh, just uh, north of atlanta uh, somewhere in between ackworth and cartersville around here 
We were just uh, until this morning at uh, Red Top Mountain State Park, which is a beautiful state park uh, on Alatuna Lake there, beautiful place. Hello, Robertico from Miami. Well, next Friday for sure, we're gonna be broadcasting live from, from home studio in Flagami, Florida. And uh, hi, Robert, my dad is a huge fan and his birthday is on October 15th. So my mom and I were wondering if you could wish him a happy birthday, dear Jason. Happy birthday to you. By the way, I never asked. I hope you guys are seeing me and hearing me okay. Um, for the past a couple of uh, videos, I've been using the the microphone that comes with the MacBook Pro, and it seems to I, I've, I've heard it after the facts, and it seems to to, to sound well. So I hope you guys are uh, hearing me well. And uh, we have another super chat. Do we? It's not showing up here. But in any case, uh, traveling Buckeyes, thank you. Uh, happy Friday to you guys too. Uh, M.E. Mary. I already read that one. Why is it showing up twice? And there are bugs here. There, there's little bugs. They're, they're, they're not biting me, but they're bugging me. Oh, man. Uh, hey, William. William, uh, William Irizarry. Hello there. And... Uh, Coming in great. All right, thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful background, Robert, and the sound of the rain is very chilling. I'm glad you guys can hear the rain in the background. And uh, yeah, it's kind of chilling. I mean, it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here, you know, I'm not ex exposed to the elements or anything like that. So uh, I'm here at the, in this uh, back porch um, in the house. So what do you guys want to talk about? Do you have any questions, anything uh, in particular? Uh, it's, be, it's been one of those... Uh, thank you, Neon Pony, Neon Pony, Neon Pony for that super chat from uh, Got You Baby Cactus Robert. Got You Baby Cactus Robert, just trying to find a travel-friendly planter. Also uh, grabbing you a simple local brews from around Phoenix. All right. Yeah. Is this a, a saguaro cactus? Do you think it will grow in Florida? Uh, Dylan Reynolds, happy Friday, Robert. I can't wait for the day we can all travel again. You, know, you brother, you have no idea. Hey, Amen. Uh, I got here late. Where are you? I'm in northern Georgia at my at my relatives home here in northern Georgia. Ellie flew to Atlanta. Uh, was it yesterday? You know, you lose track of time when you are uh, traveling. But yeah, we, we, we spent the night, the, the, the last uh, couple of days together at um, Red Top Mountain State Park. And now we're here and tomorrow we're heading down to, to Florida. Uh, really. Florida Buckeyes. Hello there. Florida Buckeyes. So I, I take it you're originally from Ohio. Uh, Elgon King, Illinois. Have you been to Rome, Georgia? No, I've been close to Rome, Georgia. Actually, on the, at the beginning of this trip, when I was going to, to Columbia, no, Columbus, Columbia, Columbia, Columbus, uh, uh, the, 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 the little Grand Canyon, you know, Providence Canyon State Park. Uh, question, Bill Utah, last live chat from the road next week from home. Yes, next week I'm, I'll be coming to you from home studio in Miami. Uh, and as you know, I haven't been there in almost three months, so I have no idea how I'm going to find the studio, but it's going to be it's going to be cool. Glorious life on wheels. Thank you for that super chat. Have you, do you have Banff and, uh, NP in Canada uh, on your radar after everything clears up? Absolutely. I was going to go to Banff on my way to Alaska this year. And uh, of course, that didn't happen. Thank you, Mr. CLT. We have to get together at some point when I get back to Florida. Uh, Rob on the road. Love the photos of all the fall colors. You have captured some absolutely stunning uh, images. Thank you so much. And uh, Andy... It's my anniversary, anniversary, Robert, Hubert and Andrea. Hubert and Andrea, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to you. And Rachel uh, Telerico, love Rome, Georgia. You know, I've never quite been there yet, but at some point, one of these days, I'll make it. And Nivea Morales, I don't think, no relation. Thank you so much for that super chat. 
Uh, you inspired me. I'm getting an RV tomorrow. Well, congratulations. And uh, may, the, may the fun begin. Now is when the fun begins. Uh, yeah, someone, someone, because uh, I, I just saw this question now. Someone asked about how the, 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 the Colorado is doing. The Colorado is doing, it's been doing great, actually. It's running, it's running well. A couple of days ago, it, the, the check engine light uh, turned on. But uh, the check engine light just disappeared. I was going to take it to a dealer here near so somewhere in northern Georgia. and Because I'd rather, you know, the, the Chevy dealer in Miami stinks. It's like the worst dealer. I, you know, I, don't, anybody, I don't even want to talk about it. I, I'd rather break down anywhere on the road uh, rather than in Miami. That place is horrible. Um, the one on 8th Street, if you guys know which one it is. Big Jim Slade, thank you for that super chat. Uh, were you able to stay the night at the Walmart in Elizabethtown, Tennessee, or do you have to move on? No, I had to move on. I decided to to call the store, and they said no. So I'm like, you know what? It's, and it was dark already. So, you know, I get nervous. I don't like to, I, mean, I guess I'm getting old, but I don't, I, I, don't really, I don't really like to drive at night as much anymore. So I said, you know what, I bet you at one of the welcome centers, there's two welcome centers and they're high up in the in elevation in the mountains. And uh, there's a Tennessee welcome center and the North Carolina welcome center. And I, and I arrived at the Tennessee welcome center and, uh, and I told the security guard, you know, it, 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 by the rules, it's only supposed to be two hours. But I told him, you know, I'm tired. You think I spend the night? And it wasn't that full, you know, it was, there wasn't that many people. So he t said, said, very, 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 uh, very cool guy. I, I commend him. And he said, I would never let anybody uh, drive tired uh, in the middle of the night so you can stay. Uh, so I stayed. So I, I'm really glad. Uh, your CDs back in stock? Actually, the CDs have always been in stock. They're just not in stock with me <laughs> on the road. Uh, I, have a, I have a box of CDs in Miami. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll ship, I'll, I'll, I'll prepare them Monday night. And they'll go out Tuesday at some point. They'll go out Tuesday. I have a question. I never seen Minitini Lounge before. What can I look forward to? You can look forward to a mixture of uh, of old standards and um, some live, uh, some Latin music, a little bit of everything. You know, a, a little bit of the some blast from the past from my from my salsa band the years. It's just gonna be me playing the piano. It's gonna be my other channel. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a, a link in this channel. To that one. Into, uh, Ria Landholm introduced you to my parents with the Grand Teton and Yellowstone movie. First thing they said, they didn't see too much of Grand Teton because dad got sick at the visitor center you went to. Oh, that's no good. Uh, Grand Teton is a must if you if you guys are able to go in the area. Big Jim Slade, thank you for that super chat. Were you able to stay the night? Oh, that's the one I just read. Never mind. <laughs> I think I have another super chat somewhere around here. It's not us. Hey, uh, webmaster, you made it. Hold on. Did I miss something? Alex Cruz, our friend. This will be waiting for you in Miami when you get back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you today. The, that's Mr. CLT in the chat. He's, uh... oh no, I, I just realized it's a traveling Robert Fly Pelican Fly IPA. How did you pull that off, man? That's awesome. Look at that. Thank you, bro. That's really cool. Thank you. Let me see. I have to look at the other list because I don't know what I've missed. Okay, no, that was the only uh, that was the only super chat that I missed, I think. Yeah, that's it. All right. Robert, you should consider doing a traveling Robert calendar using your best nature photos. We order a Colorado State calendar every year, but would rather send you the money for it. I'm, I'm looking into it. I'm most likely going to do it. I just, uh, and I mean, we have three months until the end of the year, so uh, I, I, I just have to look to, to, for my best Instagram photos. And that should be easy to make, right? Uh, thank you, Patricia Buchanan, for that super sticker. 
Keep it up. Yeah, I'm going to start working out when I get back to Miami for sure. Thank you. When you did the Northeast from Zachary Lumbly with the Great White Ford, what was your gas mileage for that? I'd like to get a 20 travel trailer on the 3,500 pounds and we do it with a 2007 Dodge 2,500 Hemi. That was the same, around 9, 10 miles per gallon. It didn't really change mo much, the mileage. Although the one thing that I didn't feel the trailer back there with that with that heavy duty uh, F two fifty. Thank you, Enterprise seventy five for that super chat. Hello from Tokyo, Japan. Good morning, Tokyo, somewhere on the other side of the earth. CLT just got back from Colorado. Yeah, I saw the pictures, man. Really cool. Lisa, Lisa, what park do you recommend to camp near the? Little canyons in Georgia, uh, definitely a um, Florence Marina. That's the closest one. And what have we got here? Oh, <laughs> my brother-in-law just brought me some thermocell for the mosquitoes. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's not like horribly bad with the mosquitoes, but some, I have some bugs here flying around. Uh, Eric Adams, thank you for that super chat. My wife and I are new followers and are wondering what is one of your favorite places to travel. I mean, I'm still partial to the West. Whenever I see that those rock formations uh, in the West, uh, and it happened on this trip, I, I, as soon as I kind of crossed the Missouri River and arrived in the, in the North Dakota ba Badlands, uh, I mean, uh, Northern Georgia is my other happy place. It's, it's also, and uh, whenever I arrive to northern Georgia, some, somehow it feels like home-ish, kind of. Um, I don't know, I just like it. I, 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 and when I say northern Georgia, I say southwestern North Carolina, I say southern Tennessee, you know, the, the Appalachia, let's call it Appalachia. And I almost felt the same way now when I, uh, when I was in, in West Virginia. I don't know, there was something, it, it kind of broke all my stere stereotypes that I had about West Virginia and... Uh... Question, what is that silver thing buckled in the back seat of the truck in the last video? That is my Berkey water filter. And by the way, full disclosure, I'm an affiliate with them. You can get it at uh, Techno RV. I'm uh, travelingrobert.com slash Techno RV. It's, it's what I use for, for, for water. You know what I do, uh, this is how I do it. This is how we do it. I'll buy like a, one of those 24 packs of bottles from Sefer Hills, Publix, uh, Crystal Guys or whatever brand. And then what I do as, as I start using them, I start refilling them. And uh, you know, I reuse them a few times. And uh, that's, that's what I do for water, you know. What is the longest drive you will do in a day? In my case, uh, usually it's half a Texas, what I call half a Texas, which is 400 miles. The California Redwoods, uh, that was, um, that, that, that's another, another uh, epic place too. Um, but I, for some reason, I love that desert and mountains and badlands and that type of landscape. Maybe not to, to like live there, but it, some, somehow I, 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 I'm in awe. Uh, there's something spiritual. About, uh, about about places like that. And then th this area kind of mountains and, and it, it feels kind of like a home anyway, in, in a way, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's not exactly that, but thank you, Michelle K for that super chat. How do you secure your kitchen items when, when traveling? Well, most of the stuff is like in cupboards, you know, it's uh, in storage. It's in drawers, like all my utensils and that stuff. And uh, the other stuff stays inside the inside the sink. Like I have this little cradle with the sponge and the and the and the dish detergent that goes inside the the sink. Have you been to Akmolji National Monument there in Bru there's a brew? No, I haven't been there yet. But at some point, uh, there's so much, so much to see. Uh, from Illinois, hello, Amy. 
Um, watch your videos every Sunday. It's a highlight of the weekend and inspires future travels. Thank you so much, Brandon Stargell, who makes a cameo appearance in the next video. A great video this week, but I may be biased. <laughs> Good times. Just wish the waterfalls had been more plentiful, but that's Georgia in late, late July. You know, my, my timing impeccable as, as always. What can I do? <clears throat> uh, Okay, let's see how we, how we do this. Hey folks, we have a big group watching this live stream. We should try to do a virtual wave. That's something I think most of us haven't been able to do for a while. Just put your hands up. Uh-huh, uh-huh, put your hands up. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, my daughter Isis plays the piano too, and she loves your song. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you think next week should start at 5 p.m.? I don't know. I don't know if, 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 if we will we'll put it to a vote. Uh, 5 p.m. is usually better for folks in in, uh, in Europe and uh, elsewhere in the world. It may be too early for like Japan um, and some people on the West Coast. They arrive late. You know, it's it's hard when when we have a, like an international uh, show like this. Uh, sometimes it is hard. Uh, Rocky River, Ohio here. Elizabeth Gondaloy. Have you been to Okmulgee National Monument? Is it Georgia a brewery? There also no, I haven't. I, I, I think I, yeah, I said no, I have not been. But um, hi, my daughter lives in Cartersville. I've, uh, I live off 101 below Forks in Wishka, Washington. Well, Cartersville, we're like a stone throw away from Cartersville. Uh, the last time I was here in, in Red Top Mountain, I di actually went into Cartersville. This time we didn't have time. Uh, we didn't really have time. Uh, in Illinois, getting our, from Carla Daniels, uh, getting our Airstream prepared for winter travels. Love your videos. I hope you don't have to winterize, but I guess, I guess you do in Illinois. Um, oh, man. Your name here. Hey, Robert from Arizona. Nice haircut with some states having... A firewood ban. Do you have a portable gas fire pit they use instead? I haven't really been doing much fires uh, outdoors. It's been hot for most of this trip, except for like the past one or two weeks. So, uh, yeah. Lots of buffering now. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, YouTube is giving me a warning. I don't know what's going on. Let me do a quick speed test here, which might kill the stream. But I don't know why it 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 looked good earlier, but I don't know what's going on. Let's. I'm getting. I mean, that should be plenty, but let's let's look at the uh, at the upload speed, the download speed, and the ping is excellent. Eleven milliseconds is pretty good for being uh, far away from the. I mean, we're getting 17 up, 18 up. We should, in theory. Okay, here we go. We're back, I think. I think we're back. Let me know if you can see me. Let me know if you can see me. Are we back? Can you hear me now? <laughs> it's fine again. Well, hopefully I'm back. Um, it said that I had to stop the stream, but I think it just came back. It, 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 you know, it, it resumed, so yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything funny just so, so I don't lose the stream. Uh, I wanted to say hello to Kevin Bentley. Hey, traveling Robert. Uh, Sunday, I'm I'm turning 54, getting old. I think I deserve a song. Happy birthday, dear Kevin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Kevin from Kansas City. The traveling elk, much ducking today. We're both much ducking today. Um. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, the, the, the internet is it's a dark science. <laughs> you never know when you're going to get good internet or bad. 
It is, today I'm, I'm here on a wired connection, supposed to be good, and it's pixelating. Tom Tiggy, thank you so much for that super chat. Hey, Robert, this is for an IPA. Your friends, Tim, Tim and Nina, Phoenix and Lachlan. Cheers. Today I'm having wine, actually. I didn't want to mix. We were having wine with, with lunch. You know, we had a feast, actually. Uh, um, Sister-in-law, Elda, she made a... She made carne con papa, Cuban style. You know, it's like, it's like a stew, like a meat and potato stew. And we had yuca, which is like cassava, you know, boiled cassava with, with mojo. And we have black beans. And we had some, some uh, like tapas before. And we had, um, what else did we have? It was a feast. Oh, flan. We have flan for dessert. Uh, I'm telling you, <clears throat> I think I've, I've gained like, like five pounds just today. Uh, tonight live stream is brought to you by Monopoly McDonald's. But well, really, tell them to send me a check. Because <laughs> is that a new super chat characters allowed are based on the amount of on the amount spent? I don't know. I I, I, I know people that, that send the super stickers, but I don't know exactly how much they cost. What was your favorite part of this ov overall trip? Oh man, it's that's a hard question to to answer. I've been on the road for three months. I want to say the most stunning landscapes may have been Glacier National Park, but also the drive through Utah. And it was a unique drive because it was so smoky that at some place, some place we were driving that road. I forget the name. It's it's Utah State Route. It's, it's the famous one that goes west to east through Utah. I forget the name, the number. And it was so smoky that it felt like, at some point we were standing at a vista point. And it felt like one of those planets you see in Star Trek, one of those that is barely class M, you know, that is, you know it, when they go down and it, it felt like that. It was incredible. You'll see it in a video soon. I, I don't think I took still pictures. I just took video. And, uh, and of course, there's snow in Colorado. And um, that part of the trip was great. Maybe because Ili was with me. Uh, I had a great time in Ohio. Um, yeah. I mean, the, the, I, I cannot pinpoint one single uh, event that... Uh, Oliver, the the the, the, the Vrice, will we ever see you at Burning Man? I don't know. I would love to. I would like to go one day, you know, before I get too old for that sort of thing. Or am I already too old for that sort of thing? I don't know. I'm frozen again. Don't tell me. I'm about to switch to my to my uh, uh, AT&T LTE. Will you be traveling much in the winter? Well, the plan is to go to Quartzsite. Not for the show. I'll go a little later. La later in the season. And then you know, go to the places in, in that area, Arizona. And perhaps back even back to Utah. Places that I haven't been to. Amy Aranda, considering the downgrading from my fifth wheel 5K propane generac for a smaller 3K gas... Three years, ten years ago, the 5K was nice, but it's the trend you see out there with. What is the trend you see out there with boom dockers, smaller generators? I don't know. It's probably the the smaller, unless you want to run both ACs at the same time. Yeah. Hey, William, William, you're leaving us uh, from Scotland, uh, and I'm gonna have a scotch before uh, the end of the night in your in your now in your honor. Because uh, my brother-in-law's son here, Joe, he's a he's a he's a Scotch uh, fan. He's a Scotch connoisseur, in fact. Uh, Juan M. Hello, Robert. My wife and I don't have an RV, but you inspired us to take a road trip from Florida to Chattanooga. Smokies and the Blue Ridge, so beautiful. Oh yeah, definitely. That's gonna be a, a great trip. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, Chattanooga is a beautiful city, by the way. You're never too old to do Burning Man. Thank you. You are too kind. 
And uh, I'll try to do that. A Cecilia Johnson from Rangley, Rangley Gilly to Grand Junction has a view where you can see forever. Uh, yes, I, I, I love that area. Leslie Hodge, uh, thank you so much for that super chat. Hi, Robert, your show is wonderful and refreshing. Do you think you, get, you will get a chance to travel to the Sierra Nevada mountains? Well, I was there last uh, summer. I know. You know what I did last summer? I did the, the US 395, the Eastern Sierra Scenic Byway. And uh, I did the Alabama Hills there. I, did, I went up to... At some point, I want to go all the way up to Mount Whitney. But um, for now, what I did, I went to Whitney Portal there. I, I went to Bishop, uh, the town of Bishop, beautiful town. And they have great access to a bunch of trails that go up in the Sierras. And of course, I did Yosemite National Park. And uh, maybe next summer or something that I might do, I, I take it from the west, you know, and go to Sequoia National Park and that kind of thing. Thank you, Carl Le Leonard, for that super sticker, uh, which just goes like this. Thank you. A pair of characters stretching his arm forward and raising his thumb up. And SH Salif, thank you for that super chat. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And uh, I was going to say something, and I totally forgot about it. Uh, it froze. Don't tell me I froze. I'm frozen. Uh, just now that the soul snatcher about to drink. 13.6 ABV. A hey, webmaster desktop. Thank you so much for that super chat. Is there a small town that comes to mind where boondocking is not far that you'd like to recommend? It needs some cell signal for work. Yes. In which area? Uh, where, where, are you, where are you talking about, uh, Webmaster? I don't know. Um, anywhere, in my experience, in my, in my experience, anywhere near the interstate, you're going to have a internet somehow. It, it is when you... Nice lawn, lawn behind you. Thank you. When will you be in San Antonio next? There's a good chance we'll be in San Antonio in January. But I don't know. Uh, we take our travel trailer to Ocean Shores, uh, uh, Washington, at the casino on the beach. A few bucks a night. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go back there. Port Orange, Florida, at some point. Uh, hello there. Just joined. Uh, we're exactly in North Georgia. I was just in Atlanta Tuesday, Wednesday, and came back home yesterday. Oh man, I'm I'm uh, it's, it's somewhere near Ackworth, uh, between Ackworth and like Cartersville around there and uh yeah we're less than an hour away from atlanta in fact tomorrow we might have to drive through atlanta on our way south so we'll see a webmaster desktop any well as i said you know small towns uh, that have boondocking and good internet i know well uh, quartzite believe it or not quartzite has excellent uh, cell phone coverage um really good Peanut butter crop porter. I'm not a big fan of porter beers, but uh, I could have one. Those are yummy. The brewery. You know what I want to... I, 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 I think I'm going get, to get into stouts at some point. Stouts remind me of a Malta, which is a Cuban drink. Next time you're in Northern California, you should tour our state capital. Yeah, I know. I just I just passed by the front of the building. Beautiful building. I have to go back to Sacramento and also go to the to the railroad museum, which I hear is really good. Mm -hmm. What was your scariest wildlife encounter in your travels? Probably a, something related to a bee or some kind of some kind of bug. I've never really had like a like a large wildlife encounter. When I when I um, when I stayed at the at the campground in uh, at the fairgrounds there in Springfield, Illinois, when I opened the the pedestal to connect my power. There was a hornet's nest right there. Uh, 
That may have been one of those. I, w I went to talk to the guy, you know, in charge, and he came with a spray and shh. He took care of it, but yeah. That may have been one of my scariest wildlife encounters, believe it or not. <laughs> Uh, I watch your episodes on Amazon Prime. Next time you're in California, travel Highway 1 from San Luis Obispo. Stop in Morro Bay and check out the famous rock. I did that back in 2012. I have to do that again with the RV at some point. But yeah, definitely. Chocolate espresso stout. That's something I could, I could, I could sign up for. Uh, uh, that's funny. We're almost on the same route, staying at the same parks as Traveling Rubber, only a few days behind. There you go. Passing the lake, almost there. Hey! The RV DJ. Is boondocking best with groups of friends? We are seniors and wonder what about boondocking, if it's safe. Usually, when you're boondocking way out there in the, in the middle of nowhere, generally speaking, it is safer than boondocking like in a like a big city walmart it's in the cities where where uh, people who might want to harm you are uh, out there there's less people so there's less chance of bad people being out there in my experience that's that's what i've experienced always be prepared of course but it, 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 when in doubt you know a group of people is always nice actually <coughs> i was just uh, by the way hold on Danny, daniel ruiz thank you for that super chat have you been to the spam museum in austin minnesota i thought about going and the green giant statue thought about going when i was in minnesota uh but you know there's some some always something so much you can see and i wanted to see other things so but I, i'll be back i'll be back i think a flock of seagulls would be scarier it's possible welcome to georgia robert i'm not far from you in douglasville we went to cloudland canyon a few weeks back did you do the hike down and back up yes i did I did it, I, and you're gonna see it on on Sunday. Actually, uh, you're gonna see it on Sunday. Actually, let me show you a little bit. Things about it from viewers and YouTubers alike. Now. This, this is it, Cherokee Falls. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of a teaser there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Cloudland Canyon was a pleasant surprise. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter video this uh, this Sunday. Uh, I've been editing for for for, uh, for uh, you know on the road, and sometimes there's just not enough time. But uh, I'm sure you know the members of Miami Sound Machine. Have you ever jammed with them? I actually don't know them personally. I once saw Emilio Stefan in, a, in an elevator, but that's about it. All this talk of beer and I'm turning in from work seems very unfair. I'm sorry. Today I'm drinking wine because that's how I roll. What happened? Got nailed right in the middle of a super chat. What happened? What? Super chat? Oh, there's a, there's a big delay between uh, my broadcasting and uh, at least a minute, I think. Delay. Yeah, the, the, I, I don't think the, the, the video, the internet speed is very good here, but as long as you guys can see me and can hear me well, this is too choppy. It is, is it too choppy? I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what to do. Should I switch my internet connection, see if it, if it, see if it improves? If you want to try lots of kinds of beer separated by region in the U.S., attend the Great American Beer Fest in Denver. Generally, it is in October, first, uh, second weekend, of course, not this year. Uh, that would be cool. That would be cool to, to, to see, like, a beer fest. I, I once went to, the, to a scotch and whiskey fest in Miami. That was, oh, we got so hammered. I don't, I don't even, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, Clifford Caddo, um, thank you so much for that super chat. I love your videos so much to inspire us to explore. Have you ever been to Big Bend area from Houston? I thought about it last year. And uh, last, uh, it was last summer and it was too hot. First, I thought about doing it last, the winter before and it was too cold. Then I thought about it doing it in the summer, it was too hot. And, uh, but... This winter, if, if all goes well, 
I plan to do it. Oh, the one, one of the years that I planned to do it was the government shut down too, and that's why I couldn't go. So it's always something about, uh, you know, a big band, but I'm gonna do this, go, go this, uh, this January, because I, what, I, what I plan to do, I plan to do that uh, US n uh, 95 that goes kind of hugging the Mexican border. Thank you, Will Web Webmasters Desktop, again, for that super chat. Any plans to visit Noah's Ark in Kentucky? Yes, it is in the plans. I think he would do a great job showcasing it. And I've seen it, I've seen it uh, showcased in other people's videos. And uh, definitely at some point, and this year I didn't do it because I, I saw in my, in my map that Kentucky was having like quarantine, which I I found out that all these quarantines, none of them are really enforced. So uh, I could have gone into Kentucky and nobody would have said anything. By the way, I'm running out of wine here. Hmm. Mm. That's pretty good. But uh, yeah, next year I want to go to Kentucky. I want to I wanna do the, the at least part of the Bourbon Trail. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I've already been to, to Maker's Mark and I've, I've been to Jim Bin. Although I didn't do the... And I, I went to Woodruff, uh, Wood, Woodford, Woodruff, Woodford Reserve, right? That's what it's called. That was one of my favorites. But at some point, yeah. Definitely Kentucky, and uh, we'll do the the Ark, and we'll do the the whiskey, the bourbon, and uh, and I want to go into back into Louisville and do like, uh, you know, the the Slugger Museum, you know, that that kind of thing. Hello from Kalamazoo road trip from Southern Texas in a few weeks to see mom and planning the Soto State Park stop. Yeah, the Soto was, was very cool. Switch and sing happy birthday to me while you're at it. Happy birthday, dear Maxine. Happy birthday to you. And the RV Monster, our worst wildlife encounter. We have an influx of rat babies at Disney Fort Wilderness in a nest near our camper. To Disney credit, they send a SWAT team to attack the rats. Oh, bro oh brother. Andrea wants to know what are the travel plans for your winter. Hey, Andrea. Hey, hey. Alex CLT. Well, our, our plans are kind of written in jello still at this point. I kind of like that. How do you like my Lewis and Clark t-shirt? I really like this t-shirt. I, I like the spirit of Lewis and Clark. Um, the idea is after the Tampa RV show, which I, I intend to attend, we're gonna go north and, and kind of, you know, maybe not do Destin again, you know, that part of the coast. But do US 95 and kind of hug the coast, maybe go down into the bayou in, the, in, in Louisiana, maybe Lafayette, Louisiana. Not New Orleans, been there. Would love to go back, but not on this trip. And then at some point, continue on US 95. Try to avoid I-10, you know. I, you know at, at this point, I've done I-10 so many times. And, uh, and maybe a... Um, can you guys see me okay? I keep seeing that sign that my internet is low. The RV DJ made it to the campground. Ho, everybody! And uh, as I was saying, I'm thinking of uh, probably doing a Big Bend National Park. I hope the Mexican border is open because I want to take that little boat uh, from... Uh, and I forget the name of the town right now. I I'm sure it'll, co it'll come to me. You can take a rowboat. This guy takes you on a rowboat, and then you you hop on a burro, and they take you to this town, and you can have like like margaritas and burritos and that kind of thing. It's one of those touristy things that you do. It's probably the easiest way to 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 cross the border into Mexico. It's like an automated. You know, you call on the phone for for the border uh, patrol or something like that. Northeast Ohio, absolutely. At some point, Jackie Trujillo. Hello, Jackie. Uh, um, have you stopped in Nashville on your way back to Florida a few days? The, the main street with bars is going crazy even in the middle of this week. Oh, really? No, I, I've just driven through it. Thank you, Ben, ben Puzzoli, for that. Oh, my gosh. How did I miss that? Super chat. Great stream, Rob. But that didn't show up. Ben, great stream, Rob. I wonder why it didn't show up as a super chat. And, uh, okay, that was weird. RV Monster, thank you for that super chat. Thank you, appreciate it.
If I can swing it, some local ciders and wines mixed with a sample of local beers. If you hit Arizona again, definitely. And you know what I liked, uh, Brandon, when I was at at Cloudland Canyon, he, he came with a. It's it's a it's a, it says IPA, but it's an India Pale Apple. So it was like a wonderful cider, and uh, very nice. I really like that. Oh, my my mom is here. Everybody say hello to my mom. Happy birthday, Pepito. Of course, and I. I can't believe I didn't mention it, but the reason I, I mentioned that in the podcast, the very reason we're here is because it is my brother-in-law's birthday, and uh, uh, Pepito he's turning seventy, I think. So yeah. I, I I totally forgot to mention it here. That's that's the very reason we came here to to hang out with them, and and that's why we ate. Uh, uh, that um, uh, oh that feast oh I, I to today I, 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 even though I had my Cuban coffee I'm kind of slow because that was a uh, are you planning to visit El Paso Texas and maybe Juarez on the other side of the border too uh, Fatima Granados I'm in northern Georgia my stepfather had a fifth wheel they have some maneuverability issues in tight places yeah I don't I don't see myself uh, I thank you she says. I don't, th- I don't ever see myself driving something that big. I don't know, but I could eat my words. Who knows? Uh, CLT, thank you. She says we should get together with you and Illy sometime in late December. Maybe a weekend trip. We'll talk. Absolutely, yes. <clears throat> that would be cool. Something close to South Florida. What is the wine that you are having? Well, that I was having. I'm empty. <clears throat> this is... Uh, it's a, a Campo Viejo uh, Reserva, I believe. It's a, it's a Rioja from Spain. It's a Spain, Spanish Rioja. Very good, actually. So, yeah, everybody say hello to... Uh, happy birthday to my brother-in-law, Pepito, Pepito upstairs. Uh, India Pressed Apple. We'll get some shipped to you. All right, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, that was good. And Illy loved it, loved it too. I, I saved some for her. And uh, will you be doing any meet and greets events in the Tampa RV show? Would love to see you there. I don't know exactly yet. I spoke to the to the marketing person at the Tampa RV show because last year we spoke about doing something more organized, you know, something more like. Uh, <clears throat> because I don't think I don't know, I, I don't think he minded, but last time we did something impromptu at the at the pavilion there, and and uh, it all depends of the local uh, regulations about large gatherings and stuff like that i don't see why not i don't see why not but we'll see you know everything is still kind of uncertain at this point so yeah and uh did i freeze because i don't see any new chats Bonner's Farm. Okay, uh, Andre Ferreira. <clears throat> Hi, Robert. Love your videos so much. I hope very soon we'll follow some of your trips to the West. Um, <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm actually looking forward to spending a couple of months at home, to be honest about it. Uh, you know, I've been living out of that trailer for almost three months and. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to working from a comfortable chair to begin with in my comfortable desk uh, because I love Minitini and it's a great way to travel. But if, if, if there is something that I dislike is that day net is not comfortable, <laughs> at least not to, to be sitting there for long periods of time like I have, you know, uh, did I freeze? No. Um, we just moved to Florida in January, and we can't wait to meet you at a meetup. At some point, definitely, absolutely, a, when it is allowed and appropriate. Oh, I froze. I think I froze now for real. Um, buffer. And you miss your family. Absolutely. Well, Illy, Illy came to, to see me uh, yesterday, and we'll be having a great time. Uh, did you ever grow a beard? This is uh, as much beard as I ever grew. Uh, really, uh, Kevin Bentley, 
Thank you so much for that super chat. Hope you enjoy some quality time at home. I appreciate the videos, but I'm sure it'll be nice to be home. And uh, to be honest about it, I have enough uh, footage to last me through the end of January. I was doing a calculation here on my, on my calendar. And I can tell you more or less, like, uh, uh, the videos. You know, this, this uh, Sunday is going to be Cloudland Canyon. Then on the 18th, uh, we're going to do the Appalachian Trail, a, se a section of it. On the 25th, we're going to be chasing waterfalls in North Carolina with our friends, the Gomez's. Um, November 1st, uh, Iowa, Minnesota, and, uh, and the road to North Dakota. Actually, no, no. I, I switched those back and forth because I've been, I've been uh, rearranging it. On, the, on November 1st, it's going to be Missouri. And on November 8th, it's going to be uh, also Missouri. I'm going to do two videos on Missouri, then Minnesota and the road to North Dakota. North Dakota by, by November 29th will be at, at Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Um, by December 6th, we'll be in Montana. Then continue the December 13th, Glacier National Park. December 20th, Idaho. December 27th, Utah. Uh, January 3rd, we're going to do the, the road to the east, which is Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana. And, uh, and then January 10th is, is when we're going to make it to Ohio. <clears throat> January 17th, West Virginia. January 24th, the Blue Ridge Parkway. And uh, that's as far as I have planned. And then after the Blue Ridge Parkway, like the past week, the last week of the trip, I might just do one long video and, and that'll be it. But as you can see, I have a big backlog of videos and I can't wait to share all that with you guys. And uh, I, I got my work cut out for me because I, I am going to be editing a lot of videos. Uh, any plans for Halloween? My son wants to know what your favorite chocolate is. For, out of the Halloween chocolates? I like Three Musketeers. I like uh, Milky Way Midnight. I like... Uh, Yeah, those are pretty. Uh, uh, um, Almond Joy. Thank you, Trent Kiever, for that super chat. If you're drinking wine, might as well too. Just pour an, uh, an apothic red blend uh, aged in whiskey barrels. It packs an almost 16% ABV. All right, good luck with that. <laughs> Would recommend. Cheers. Can't wait for all the new videos. No, um, I can't. I can't wait to finish editing all this, and. Uh, and hopefully I can have a couple of weeks off in, in late December. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you mean the, my album for 2020? I, I'm, I, oh, also, I'm going to endeavor to make at least one new tune every week or at least every other week. Because, um, you know, I'd love to... I, I love your Lewis and Clark shirt. I really love the views from next door to Yellowstone, the other national park, uh, uh, but best was bison, an early morning sunrise over the barn and the mountains. Yeah, that was very magical. And um, yes, this I got, I think this I got in North Dakota at one of the, was it North Dakota? It's, it was one of the Lewis and Clark sites right now. I can't really remember. Um, oh, where was it? It must have been, I can't remember exactly where it was. I know it was in North Dakota. Pretty sure. I hope you have that footage backed up somewhere. After all, it's 2020. I do have only one copy of most of it. I should have more than one copy, shouldn't I? You know, I have over 10, I have over 10 terabytes of footage. So it's kind of hard to have like several copies. It, become, it, it kind of becomes expensive. Um, thank you, Camaro, Camaro Man for that. Camaro Man 520 for that super sticker pair character. Lifting some weights. Yeah, I have to start lifting weights when I get back to Miami. I'm, I'm getting out of shape again. Um, and super sticker. Thank you for that super sticker. Hey, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oregon? Maybe. Yes, I am in North Georgia right now. Not very north. I'm, I'm just north of Atlanta. 
I guess that's still considered northern Georgia. I'm not in the mountains anymore. I'm kind of a little uh, f farther south from there. Not much farther south. <coughs> hey, Alan Chitwood. Uh, how long will you be in Florida before you leave again? I might do like a weekend trip uh, in November or something like that. But not until January. I, I, don't, I don't foresee leaving South Florida until January at least. What is your choice? Desert, Utah, or Highway 1, California? And hello, Brazil. They're so different. I love Highway 1, California. It's a unique place. But for RVing, Utah. Because you can pretty much boondock almost anywhere in Utah and lately all these pullouts in California they put no camping signs on all of them uh, all of them have like a big no camping sign no overnight parking and that's kind of a bummer because I do believe that you used to be able to you used to be able to to camp uh, in there uh, Lorraine Cole see you next Friday for uh, for your birthday concert actually it's not my birthday <laughs> it's um, I posted a video of my birthday from July this year but it's going to be on Saturday, uh, Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern on my other channel. I'll put a link. I'll put a link uh, in this channel, in the, in, the, in the tab, you know, in the, what's it called, the community tab. So uh, I'll post it. Someone needs to refill your wine. Yeah, I know, because it, it, they're upstairs. So I don't, if I go upstairs, you guys might get bored, might get bored down here. So uh, you know, I, could, I could run. The, the RV is actually right there. I could run to the RV and get an IPA. My husband is a UPS driver over uh, uh, in Ackworth. He's always looking out for you on the road. Hey, maybe he delivers here to my to my to my family. Uh, Tap channel. Well, I have all my shots on two same size disc. I just got two X 14 terabyte hard drives each. I don't want to lose it all. Yeah, I should do two copies. First of all, it's very time consuming on the road, and second of all, um. It's, uh, I really should do it. I, I did, I lost some footage once. I was able to recover it with one of these recovery softwares. So I wasn't too bummed out. I lost a little bit of it, but not, not all of it. <clears throat> and, uh, I really should, maybe I should do like a, like a raid, uh, what's, which is, which is the one that is backup raid five. Raid zero is their dangerous one, right? The raid zero is the one that I, I should do one of those or get like a, Remember those Drobos that they used to sell? Uh, that you could put several hard drives and you, they were hot swappable. It was like really cool. And uh, Aníbal López, thank you so much for that super chat. And saludos desde Davenport, Florida. Saludos there. Uh, what did you see in Tennessee this week? Nothing. I was not in Tennessee. Well, I, I did hit that eastern corner of Tennessee. I went to a Harvest Hosts. And that was last Friday, actually, and they had no internet, so I decided to leave because I I, I didn't wanna do you know I I, I, I wanna it's like a commitment you know I wanna I wanna do I enjoy this so much uh, I'm committed to 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 doing one of these every Friday and uh, as long as I'm not like in the middle of the Dalton Highway, Alaska, uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this for sure. So no, I didn't really do see much in Tennessee this week. Uh, we'll rock the mini tiny lounge, that's for sure, guaranteed. Yes, hook that up to your stereo because as I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, cranking it up from from Miami, Florida. Daniel Ruiz, Daniel Ruiz, thank you so much for that super chat. Next week on October 17th is Katie, and my 50th wedding anniversary. 50th, huh? That's a long time. Congratulations. Can you sing your traveling song for her next Friday? Absolutely. I can sing it now. Because I'm riding, riding in my RV. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Because you're free in your RV. Happy anniversary to you guys. Uh, 
Traveling Robert, they still make the robots, but they're still like five thousand dollars each. Yeah, that's why I never bought one, you know, because it's like I don't know. If you never refill, we have plenty of wine in California. Yeah, I, I, I know. Unfortunately, some of it uh, has burned to the ground, but I'm sure uh, some of it is still. Uh... Will you visit Cape Cod? Absolutely. That's one of those places that I keep skipping. But uh, would you be able to have a server at your house that you can upload your videos while on the road? And this is the thing. Is the internet on the road, man? I'm, 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 sometimes I'm barely lucky enough to be able to upload the, the, the final copy of the video just on that GoPro. Sometimes I have, uh, you know, it's, it's recording all the time. So that's, that's what takes the most uh, footage. Maybe I should be able to do that for everything except for the GoPro footage from the roof of the trailer. That I might do. And Alan Chidwood, thank you so much for that mic drop. Thank you for that super sticker. I used to have a Drobo upgraded to Synology, very similar. Can do RAID 1 or 5. And I keep forgetting, but I think RAID 5 is the one that has all kinds of redundancy, right? Um, next live concert, are you going to do... Are you going into a virtual audience? Well, you, you guys are my virtual audience. Uh, uh, hey, man, when you uh, uh, coming to the southernmost tip of Texas, Rio Grande Valley area... South Padre Island. I gotta do that too. I gotta do that too. Can you take a van to Key West? Yeah, boondocking in Key West is kind of sketchy. You might be able to get away with it in one of the back streets, but uh, it is technically uh, uh, forbidden. You know, the ur urban boondocking. There's always Google Drive. Yeah, there's always Google Drive, and I, and I have I have a, a a paid account with Dropbox. It's just. Um, it's just the bandwidth to upload the, all these gigabytes of video from the road. Um, yeah. Traveling Robert, thank you for rating my live stream anytime. Yeah, I saw you singing uh, our song here, uh, there. And uh, once again, I'm sorry about your kitty. It's, uh, you know, it's uh, someone, someone told me about it. So I'm like, yeah, I have to visit. I have to visit Sonia and say hello. Um, yeah. 560 watching yeah wow 571 according to my count here so thank you everybody thank you all of you who choose to to spend your your friday evening with me here it's getting it's actually getting dark let me show you something i got because you may have and i might may have it's getting chilly out here look at this i don't know if i i started selling this i got mine it actually Illy brought it for me this is a hoodie now that that the weather is getting a little chillier this is a hoodie. It has, it has this on the back, the free My RV logo. And then in the front, you know, it's a zip up hoodie. It has the fly, Pelican fly. So if, check it out. If, uh, that's at my, at my store there in Teespring, uh, travelingrubber.com slash merch. And actually, I'm going to put it on. It's kind of, it's kind of getting a, ah. Uh, It's nice. I'm not gonna say chili, chili, but it's you know it's probably in the in the in the sixties by now. So yeah. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Shirley Benoit, for that super sticker fist bump. Yes, that's the way we're saying hello these days, right? Fist bump. Uh, some people do the elbow. Some people do the fist bump. Uh, <clears throat> it depends. <clears throat> Maybe I'm talking too much, and I'm dry. I'm dry. Bill Utah, stay safe on the rest of the trip. Thank you, Bill. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty much, this is like the end of the trip. Uh, tomorrow, we're, we're starting to head south. South to Florida. Florida in my RV. I hear people walking upstairs. Strange. How long have we been doing this? An hour. You know what? I'm going to start wrapping it up, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I have to I have to go upstairs and finish celebrating my brother-in-law's birthday. Uh, thank you. It crashed into earth. Oh, that's a perfect hoodie. I, I think you guys will like it. I the the the, the, the other hoodie that I, that I was selling was the this the the pullover style, but this one with the zipper I think I like. I don't know if you like 
like the, the this is the, exactly the same logo in the back that I have in the back of Minitini, except that I put the the silver button in the middle. What is the temperature outside? I have no idea, but it, it's probably in the 60s. It's not cold by any means. Especially, you know, after I've been on the road for so long. It says 72 here. Definitely gonna order one of the hoodies. They look awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, <coughs> let me show you once again what they look like in the back. It's like, I don't know if you can see it. But it has the free Meyer B and the and the silver button. They have mini tiny too, and the truck. And at the bottom it says youtubecom slash Robert. So check it out, the Flying Pelican. Thank you, Flying Pelican. <coughs> Ooh, I've been talking too much. Thank you so much for that super chat. I would vote yes to confirm traveling Robert. To the Supreme Court of Awesome RVers. Thank you so much. That's really cool. Uh, well, thank um, Brandon. Thanks for checking in with us, Robert. Go enjoy some time with your family. Hope everyone has a great weekend and safe travels to Miami. Thank you. And uh, let me let me read Jim Foster here. Have another wine, and we'll see you maybe tomorrow afternoon if you aren't driving. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I might do, I might do uh, on Facebook, I might do a live stream on Facebook as we drive uh, to the south, or maybe the southeast, Robertico, let me know when you arrive at the 305 for a much, much promised dinner, absolutely man, I'll let you know, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be home on Monday, but um, the first week is going to be busy, but maybe that the ne next weekend or the weekend after we can do something, or maybe midweek, I don't know. Uh, you remember that recovery software name? I lost my beautiful drone footage from St. Louis. I format the and overwrote part of the SD card. I think it's called ESET, like E uh, S E T. Could that be it? I mean, I paid for it. No, that's the antivirus. No, that wasn't it. Oh, what was it? It worked actually. I did, uh, at, at the beginning, I was kind of uh, dubious about it, but oh, this the, the first one. It's called uh, East, uh, East US. That's the one that I use. Uh, this one. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I'll give them a free plug, even though I forgot to cancel the membership and they charged me for an extra month, but still. Uh, let me remove this. This is the one that I used. It worked. And that's what's important to me. It worked. I, rec I was able to recover my data. So uh, in that sense, you know, sometimes some, some things are pri priceless. Neon Pony, thank you for that super chat. Take Illy to Arizona wine country next visit. Yes, definitely. Uh, if all goes well, she's coming to me on that winter road trip uh, next year. And uh, I'm enjoying some coffee free in my RV mug. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get a, a larger free My RV mug, by the way. Alto voltaje, felicidades por tu éxito, que sigas creciendo más, mucho más, de lo mejor, te deseo bendiciones, gracias, thank you, thank you, and uh, that's it, that's it, everybody, ni en pony, ve con cerveza, thank you very much, and uh, I'm riding, riding in My RV, Wherever I want to be, cause I'm free in my RV. I don't want to sing too loud because, you know, the neighbors are going to think I'm weird. So, everybody, have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Uh, stay safe out there, and I'll see you next Friday, same time, different state, different location. We'll be back from... From Pelican headquarters in home base studios in Flagami, Florida, just west of Little Havana. Uh, shining with you guys. Thank you for being here. And once again, happy Friday and happy travels. See you on the road.